Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Uh, I thought today that we'd just cover some really basic Christmas vocabulary. So there's going to be like a little quiz and you have to say what you think it is in English and uh, we'll see how it, how it goes. So the first one you, you should know is a man made out of snow. I think I've given it away, but uh, you build him, maybe you put a carrot in his nose, and yeah, you should get this one. I think I've given it away. Right. Snowman. Snowman, okay? Next one is uh, a little game we play at Christmas. We pull it. It's got two edges and it bangs, it goes like this, and out of it comes some presents and a little hat. Some of you will have never, never heard of this, but it's quite popular, I would say. So what do you think it is? Crackers, yeah, crackers. And let me do a really rubbish drawing. Okay, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. It just looks a bit like that. It's got two ends and uh, you pull it. Yeah. So uh, another important piece of Christmas vocabulary that you should know about. How do we call the red man with the big beard who lives in the North Pole and yeah, how do we how do we call it? It brings the presents to the children, right? Gone into crazy capitals here for a crazy man. Santa, right? That's that's the informal way of calling him. Uh, you can also call him Santa Claus or of course Father Christmas. Um, I wonder how you call this guy in in your place. Uh, I mean, I know that uh, some people call him you know, Father Cross, Saint Nick, and so on. But it's just uh, Santa. Uh, even even in, I mean, it's kind of more American, but British people use it as well. Okay, in the Christmas quiz, what what exciting words are we gonna have? Okay, so this is a special treat uh, that we have at Christmas. It's sweet, and it's something like a pie inside this kind of sugar, raisins, dried fruits. Again, it's a difficult one unless uh, you know it. And it's got a very strange name in my po uh, point of view. Oh, I gave it away as usual. Mince pies, right? Mince pies. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. It's got a little casing in it. That is a truly rubbish drawing, but uh, maybe Google it, maybe Google it. And uh, last piece of Christmas British quiz. What do we call the day after Christmas? If you know this, I'm very impressed. You've been to Britain or something like that. You're shouting it out or you've no idea. Boxing Day on the 26th of December. Yeah, why is it called Boxing Day? I don't know. Something to do with boxes. Uh, it's a day when a lot of people go shopping and, and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope these have been interesting Christmas words. I'd be interested to hear how many of those you know and how many of those I spoiled by telling you the answer before uh, I'd even said them. And yeah, I wish you guys all a, a very happy Christmas. Uh, if you've got any more questions about Christmas vocabulary, um, there's other mysteries, you know, what exactly is Christmas cake, Christmas pudding, Yule log, who knows? Maybe I t I'll tell you, maybe I won't. But anyway, I think Google is a good friend of yours looking up Christmas, uh, how it is in Britain and in English speaking countries, it, it goes a long way. So I hope you knew some of these words. I think they're all pretty cool and uh, pretty fun, funky. 
Uh, yeah, so keep learning English, keep having fun, and uh, use your new Christmas words. I hope some of you have some snow. We've got no snow here in Scotland, but uh, I hope you've got some. And uh, have a happy and joyful Christmas. Ching, ching, ching. Ho, 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 ho. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows.